Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and we're in the car today and we're going to take a quick look at iOS 15 public beta 2 for CarPlay and see what is new and what is coming soon. I'm not going to go into the things that aren't really related to CarPlay that some other videos have spoken about such as car key and also uh, lossless audio for Apple Music. They're not really CarPlay related items and a lot of people tricking you people into going into their videos and finding out exactly what uh, CarPlay features are coming and to be honest there's not really that many coming currently that we know about at least in iOS 15 so we're going to look at settings, wallpapers, announced messages, focus for driving and Apple Maps. So let's dive in and see what's new. Right, so we're in iOS 15, public beta 2. This is the home screen and already we can see that there is a new background wallpaper that's available. So we'll check those out first. Each of the four wallpapers have light and dark modes. So this is the default one that we've got currently. Uh, we've got like a black and white one, slight blue tones to it. You've got a red one, which will work with any red system that you've got and you've got a neutral black and white version as well. So everything's got to inverse. You can see the light and dark modes, uh, wallpapers that you're going to get when you actually invoke light mode or dark mode, or if you've got it in tune with your headlights for CarPlay, um, they will switch automatically to that. So they haven't replaced any, they've just added four new ones. So you've got 11 in total. And these are your wallpapers. We're just going to switch to this neutral blue one and you go to back and then you go back home and then you've got the wallpaper applied. So that is the wallpapers in iOS 15. Back into settings and we've got driving focus. This will um, allow you to reduce the amount of um, notifications and calls whilst you're driving. Um, you just Sometimes you just wanna focus on driving and not have all the distractions that you're going to get. You can enable this and set a certain amount of apps that you want to use. Under focus, you've got the ability to do add driving. If it's not there already, you can hit the plus icon and add driving. And then you can basically add certain people in your contact list and the certain types of apps that you want to get notifications from only while you're driving. You can also detect whether you are getting in the car through CarPlay or if you're enabling through Bluetooth it can automatically enable driving focus for you. So here you can see when CarPlay activates, whether it does automatically, when you're gonna to connect to Bluetooth in the car or you can just enable it manually. And that will enable as soon as you get into car and CarPlay functions, which is quite nice. So you don't have to manually interact with it. That's gonna stop any notifications from anyone or from applications unless you tell it to. So to enable that, you can do that through the settings menu here. Uh, another new feature is announced messages. Again, uh, Siri has um, allowed the ability to automatically announce the messages that come in through uh, WhatsApp or through the messages app. And um, this will automatically announce them without you having to press on anything. Uh, so as soon as it comes through, uh, it'll actually go through your internal speakers in your car uh, as long as you're connected to CarPlay. So we've got some ability to turn it on and off here and then in under options you can just have the announced messages, you can silence them so turn them all off and you can remember the last setting that you used when you last got in the car. Uh, you can turn on announcements, um, that is now turned on. Uh, and they will do uh, this little bell icon as well as a new icon for iOS 15 and the battery symbol has now moved down to the bottom. So if I silence those uh, and turn them back on, the battery now swaps back up to the top and announcements are turned off. So you can turn those on. And another thing, if you have driving focus on, uh, when you enable it, uh, this little icon turns to a car as well to let you know that you've got driving focus on and you're blocking any 
contacts or application notifications from announcing whilst you're driving. So you might want to know everything and that's just a nice little indicator to let you know that it's enabled at the moment. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. In brother chat, David said if it's got Sam Neil in it, it's good for me and sent a winking emoji. That's everything. So you've got announced support for WhatsApp uh, and messages at least, and I'm sure some other messaging apps as well are, are supported. As long as you see that notification of announced badge at the top right hand corner, that means that you can enable it on and off. So that's really cool as a quick way to access that feature. The last thing is Maps. So Maps has improved in certain areas. You've got a lot more detail now in iOS 15 when you zoom out, but when you start zooming in, it cleans up a little bit to make it a bit nicer on the eyes. Um, let's just set a random destination. It's a little bit of animation there uh, for the route uh, that I've not seen before. Um, you can do all the sharing. I'm in the UK, so reporting option isn't here or unavailable for me at the moment, uh, but otherwise you would see it here. But other than that, everything is all here with the routes. Um, it's a little bit more colorful, um, especially uh, in the day mode of it. And um, you've got like a little bit of a badge indicator here that tells you uh, alternative routes and your final destination. And obviously you can set uh, your navigation north and everything that's as you would expect in Apple Maps. So that's just generally the other overall improvements. The full detail is going to come at the end of the year where you're going to have much more richer uh, typography and um, objects and buildings, trees and such. Uh, is all going to be enabled in the actual maps for certain cities and then over probably into next year that will grow. A lot more cities will have support for that richer environment uh, detail in its maps. Other than that, there's not really much, nothing new really. So everything is as you would expect uh, in terms of how it all connects uh, with all, all the existing apps. They behave just as you, do, you would expect and um, all the wheel functionality is there, as is Siri. What's the weather like today? It's currently cloudy and 19 degrees. So that's as you'd expect. And the audio kicks back in. But that's just generally the options that are available in the public beta 2 of iOS 15. So just to recap, we've got the wallpapers, we've got focus, we've got the announcements, and we've got the maps update that not everyone is, is able to see but it's also coming when it properly releases, probably later in September, October time. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If it has, please leave us a like and uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything you want me to try out uh, on iOS 15, Public Beta 2. You can go and join this yourself if you like to by going to the Public Beta program for iOS. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.